Oh, hey guys. I was just sitting here inhaling my uh, tea, and I was thinking, uh, PVC. You see, there's connectors like this that didn't draw very well, but all over the place with three different angles. And then all you would do is you just have a PVC pipe with multiple risers, like just, you know, pre-poured, which is nothing. I mean, they probably already have even these. Pre-poured. Pre well, yeah, just pre-made PVC Yeah, because pipe. you want it to be a little stronger at the curves, so yeah. you, want it, you don't want things plugged into spots. Well, they can figure out PVC angles for that shit. Yeah, I'm just saying it should all just be one, probably. Yeah. Even if you have to re-angle these a little yeah. bit to where they're not straight down, you know, like they're angled at the angle yeah. of these. Yeah, certain. Well, then you insert PVC into the top part, into this, this connector here that's, you know, like extra thick, like double thick walls. So it's, you know, holds. And uh, then... PVC is the... flexible, it won't break. I know, I'm just saying I want the joints to be double thick. Yeah. So then, up here you see the above head view. Um, those all connect in on either side, like I'm saying. Into yeah. either side. And then you can have ones on the side so the tent doesn't just sag in. Like, yeah. in the middle, you have more PVC connector points to the sides. Either side coming in and locking together from either yeah. side. Yeah. And then you can have even more if you want. Well, yeah, because then the tent can attach to those, to those PVC points, you know. Yeah, exactly. And if you wanted it different, you know what I mean, you wanted to contain the shape, you would just simply bring this, like you just angle these all the way out to these yeah. side posts. Yeah. And the one thing I didn't add, of course, here, because I wanted to do it in the example is, um, say these are too far out, like you're bulging the tent too far out. Well, I don't care about those principles, right? So you just have PVC that's pre-built to curve. Yeah. So then, yeah. who really gives this shit, you know that's what I mean? That's true. If they're too far out? Yeah. So then it bends on purpose to create rigidity. Yes. Yeah, it's built, it's pre-molded, like I was saying, pre-molded PVC. Yeah. So that even if the you want a wider tent, it still works. Yeah. Exactly. All from the center connector point. Double thick again. Yep. As thick as it needs to be. Then you can make that tent to different scales, you know. Yeah, exactly. Small, medium, large. And there's our tents for the future. I mean, I could make these myself if I had learned how to sew, done all that crap, and I could <laughs> yeah, you know, little, get my own PVC. Ports for, you know, all the, the but PVC. But I don't want to invent stuff myself, you no. know? When I'm feeling creative with my hands, I usually, like, do carpentry or something. Like, yeah. build a bed or something. Not make a tent and be a genius for everyone else. You guys can do this, because you're the genius this time. I love your illustration here. It's great. Yeah. Simple, but it really shows off what's going on. I had to make a peyote quest. I had to ask the cactuses in my soul to give me the ability. Well, you could, uh, of course, use hemp fabric over this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cheap hemp. Required. That's waterproof, yeah. Because I haven't been able to go camping when it's at all weather questionable. At all. Like, too misty and any tent fails. Yeah. Boom. Now you wrote it down. Now it's reality. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right. Hopefully we can get this before we get to go to all the different... Um, there's a bunch of eclipses coming up in the next 10 years, and I want to go to all of them across the U.S. and Canada and stuff, so yep. I need tents to do that. Exactly. Yeah. When it comes to the hemp cloth, you know, tents are all one piece, you know, anyway, so you do the same with this one. And then you just insert the PVC stuff into the inside and set it up so that it bulges everything out like a skeleton and holds it firm. You know, and then the ground area is all coated in whatever rubber material is high quality. You can even use the rubbery stuff from ty types of hemp itself as it's really waterproof. And kind of coat the bottom and up a ways. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I guess the zipper would be on one end or whatever. Well, why wouldn't everything be basically just, uh, you know, the resin from plants, what they call shatter? Why wouldn't that just be what all of the cloth is yeah, soaked just do in? Yeah, all whole, of it, yeah. Whole thing. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying stop pretending that resin from hemp is some sort of treat, and instead it's, it should be treated like industrial resin. Because yeah. Because it is. That's how they used to Well, I mean, they're tents. using it for floors already, so. Yeah. How so about tents? Tents. Yeah. 
And like the zipper, like, come on guys, actually make it like good. Yeah, make it metal. Metal. And reinforce it. Like it needs yeah. to have a big hook, not a little piece of metal that snaps off instantly. Exactly. It needs to actually be a tough zipper. So Grant brought up magnets, uh, you know, where the tent flap closes. Uh, and I was saying over the zipper, then you use magnets to hold the extra piece of material to keep yeah, the waterproof. Yeah, you know, have magnet flaps that go together, you know. Yeah. But not as weak as this. That's, that's a little too easy to peel. Yeah. More like this, you see? Yeah, double those stronger ones. Double thick. Yeah. Double so then thick. when they come together, they snap more, you know, it's a harder little, there's a little more impact. Absolutely. Instead of like, kind of flappy. You see how it flapped up as I threw it on there? Too thin. Yeah. Same. I mean, yeah, you could do magnetic points along the tent to kind of hold its shape, but you don't really need that. It's all have, held by... I might as well just say redundancy. So you should probably have a tiny bit of Velcro, um, and magnets, just so it's both. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Velcro I mean, between the, the piece, magnets. But like yeah. further back, there's magnets. Yeah. Further close to the Velcro keeps it closed in front, mm. and the magnets, you know, like pinch it even further behind and keep it even more closed. That's a good idea. However strong they need to be. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, uh, whatever. Okay, with your tent kit, needs to come an auger that screws onto like a metal screwy handle, or not metal, I mean a wooden handle, and then the, the auger screws the metal piece like has uh, threading, and it goes up in the wooden handle, so then by hand you can screw into the ground and loosen an area that's kind of tight for putting in the tent peg, or you can attach it to a drill, you know, and spin it down to the ground, and uh, that, that fixes the problem with tent pegs, I, I hope. One solution, somewhat. And like, why do tent pegs not have like claws in them along the length of the metal so that like it holds in the ground once you pounded it in? They're all just full smooth. Oh, after you length. mean you mean like, uh, like with like? It's not like I'm the first person to think of this. No, but it needs to return. Like, like yeah. with, with like you know. Yeah, yeah, actual points that lock into the ground. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Yeah, what I was trying to explain, uh, Grant uh, made me realize I hadn't done it yet, uh, is, yeah, an actual auger that you can spin into the ground and loosen things up, you know, with that handle, yeah, that spins, you know, conveniently. It comes with the tent so that you can always loosen the soil, even if it's clay or whatever. Yeah, and on top so of that, if you need extra your... reassurance, like, I mean, they could recommend this. Yeah. You take, like, a big river stone, you know what yeah. I mean? With a little whatever. And you put it on top yeah. of your uh, your augered-in stake. Yeah. Like, if it's too soft a soil. Yeah. And on top of that, like, you could also, this is like, I was just... Well, you wouldn't use the auger if the soil was too soft, obviously. Yeah, yeah, uh, you're a good point, but I just need to point that out. But no. yeah, you can put rocks on top of it, people know that. Yeah, yeah. big old flat top so you can put rocks on yeah. it and get them flush with the good soil. Good point, yeah. And then the final aspect is, yeah. I just want to point out to people, because it should be included in the guide, if they're stuck, then you just dig them up with a shovel, you know? Yeah, duh. If they're stuck, use a goddamn... Yeah. I mean, it could come with a little trench shovel. Those are yeah, fun. You know, little, yeah. Yeah. I like shooting. those. And then those are useful for digging your poop into the dirt and stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. We got to put a little round handle on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's very important. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Now we're legitimate. <laughs> okay, the center top PVC post, you know? Well, you can, like, have kind of flat hooks that hook onto it the right size that, you know, hook over it. And then they have hanging strings, you know, that have like baskets that you can throw your camping gear in from the ceiling hanging above you when you're sleeping. Cause like other tents cause sometimes have pockets along the sides or something down by the ground and that's just annoying. So instead you can just bring in your stuff and hook it along and hang it from the roof. Like you can even hook in like a smoke pot and like have your herbs you know going above your head you know while you're making love below them all sensual yeah, it's hemp yeah. It burn, you could also yeah and you could also have it set up with a battery pack from there and you could build into the more expensive version of the tent for like an extra five bucks 
uh, you know, LED lighting, you know? Yeah, along, along yeah. the top of the bar. Along the top of the bar, at least. That'd be so cool. In fact, it could be inside of the plastic PVC, and it could be clear, which does not increase the cost. No. Then it's, yeah, glowy, and you can set the mood, you know? Then you know to stay away from people's tents when they're glowing, you know, pink sex, you know, color. Yeah. They're in sex the mode. So it's thick, so you can't actually see from the outside. Yeah, all you can see is a slight glow, you know, of whatever color they have inside, you know, the light. That's it. And since it's from the roof, there's no shadows really reflecting out of the tent. Yeah. So for, like, you aren't silhouetted when you're fucking, you know? It's all private like. 